After two years of face reconstruction, Sergeant Bree Travers is beginning to recover from the physical injuries of the war in Afghanistan. But the mental scars remain. Her service dog, Seamus, helps her cope. Come in. This dog is more therapeutic to me than any medicine, any therapist, any... And I was like, come on, keep going, keep going. Tell me, what, how good am I at? How good am I? He just filled a very, very, very big void. Seamus is trained to act as a physical barrier when she feels overwhelmed by crowds. He wakes her from nightmares and keeps her calm. But the government will no longer pay for such dogs because there's no scientific evidence that they provide any medical benefits. But research is underway that could prove the importance of man's best friend. Well, Abby here is only a few months old, but she's been specially bred for her temperament and her ability to elicit and transmit oxytocin, which is a chemical scientists say calms us when we're feeling stressed. Now, if all goes according to plan, she should be a fully fledged service dog within a couple of years. Abby belongs to the Warrior Canine Connection, which trains dogs and veterans together. The organization has found that production of the stress-calming chemical oxytocin is significantly increased by such focused physical contact with dogs, and that reduces the symptoms of mental conditions such as post-traumatic stress disorder. We believe it may prove to be the most effective uh, non-pharmaceutical intervention that we can offer to our service members. The theory is being tested by scientists at the military's top medical research center in Maryland, which specializes in brain injuries. And oxytocin is a, is a chemical that actually does a variety of things. It reduces the stress hormone cortisol, it can reduce pain levels, it can increase the, the feeling of wellness that allows for closeness, and, um, interconnection, interpersonal relationships. We find this as, a, as one of the, the linchpins to why we believe the dogs are actually having a positive effect. Without their service dogs, a trip to the shops can be overwhelming for many veterans battling with brain trauma and stress. Their active military career may be over, but they still face an enemy within. The dogs, they say, are often their best protection. Jane O'Brien, BBC News, Maryland.